I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching the Watercraft Journal. With the 2019 redesign of the FX WaveRunner platform, many enthusiasts were surprised to see that Yamaha relocated the fill cap from hidden beneath the hood to the runabout's front left fender. Critics have noted that the cap's relocation not only breaks up the Yamaha's clean lines, but also makes refueling at dockside stations cumbersome, as they now must double over the handlebars to reach the cap. Yet the largest concern comes from the watercraft's tendency to burp fuel out when filled too quickly, resulting in spilled gasoline on the watercraft's paint and plastics. This burping effect is caused by the rate of fuel flowing into the tank, clashing against the tank's ability to evacuate air back out. On the previous FX platform, as the same with current FX series watercraft, the filler neck was vertical, permitting fuel to freely flow in as air quickly escaped out. Now, with a nearly horizontal filler neck, escaping air has to fight against the rapid flow of fuel pouring in, resulting in back pressure forcing pockets of air to erupt out of the top of the filler neck. The buildup of back pressure is exacerbated by a plastic one-way check valve located inside of the fuel tank's intake port. Featuring a plastic float that slides up and down a long sleeve, the check valve tube is specifically designed as a safety feature to keep fuel from sloshing up the filler neck in case of rollovers and while aggressively cornering. Interestingly, this very same check valve is found on all Yamaha WaveRunners equipped with the same 18.5 gallon tank. This proves that the fuel spillage is not the fault of the check valve alone, but a combination of both it and the horizontal filler neck. We've found that simply throttling the fuel flow can keep most spills from happening but oftentimes fuel docks have twice the fuel flow as your regular gas station, and a trapped bubble of air can surprise even the best of us. Thankfully, there's a quick and easy and free solution. Remove the check valve. All that's required is the use of a quarter inch nut driver or a short flat screwdriver, and about three minutes of your time. As always, begin by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Next, push in the white plastic push tabs holding the divided bulkhead separating the bow storage from the engine compartment. The push tabs should be reused, so remove all four and with them, each of the two black interlocking panels. Next you'll see the filler neck connecting the fuel cap to the tank. You don't need to remove the whole tube, just where it connects to the tank. Obviously it's best to be doing this with a near empty tank of fuel, so be aware of how much gas you have before starting. With your nut driver, Back the hose clamp off and slide it up the tube. The filler neck should wiggle off with a little bit of coaxing. Once removed, place it out of the way so you can access the fuel tank. Inside of the tank will be the check valve tube, which literally sits inside of the tank. Go ahead and pull it out. Careful not to spill any gas inside of your watercraft. Next, simply reverse your steps. Replace the filler neck, tighten it down, and install the divider bulkhead with the four push pins. Finally, reconnect the battery. To prove our work, we returned to the nearby gas station and topped off the tank. We found zero leaks inside of our engine compartment or any weeping around the factory gas cap after driving it to the launch ramp. Equally, we saw the same results after riding around the lake for an hour. Of course, it goes without saying that the check valve is a piece of factory safety equipment and was designed and installed for a specific purpose. Although we have already returned the check valve back into this particular wave runner, we wanted to illustrate to you how to quickly and safely remove it. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching the Watercraft Journal. Make sure to check us out every day, Monday through Friday, at www.watercraftjournal.com where we update the magazine with new articles every day. And again, if you like this channel, please make sure to subscribe, like, and even leave a comment. It definitely means a lot. And thanks again for watching.